Let's take a quick look at Moderna's mRNA platform, which forms the basis of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. But first, please be aware of the following important information about the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. FDA has approved SpikeVax COVID-19 vaccine mRNA as a two-dose primary series for the prevention of COVID-19 in individuals ages 18 years of age and older. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine has not been approved by the FDA, but has been authorized for emergency use by FDA under an Emergency Use Authorization, EUA, to provide a two-dose primary series 0.5 milliliters to individuals 18 years of age and older. Additionally, the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine has been authorized to provide a third primary series dose, 0.5 milliliters, to individuals ages 18 years of age and older who have been determined to have certain kinds of immunocompromise. The EUA also authorizes a single 0.25 milliliters booster dose of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine at least five months after completing a primary series of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, or SpikeVax, to individuals 18 years of age and older. Under the EUA, the booster dose may also be administered to individuals 18 years of age or older as a heterologous booster dose following completion of primary vaccination with another authorized or approved COVID-19 vaccine. The EUA for the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is in effect for the duration of the COVID-19 EUA declaration justifying emergency use of the vaccine unless the declaration is terminated or authorization revoked sooner. FDA-approved SpikeVax and the EUA-authorized Moderna COVID-19 vaccine have the same formulation and can be used interchangeably without presenting any safety or effectiveness concerns. The name Moderna might be new to you, but we've been focused on research and development of new medicines since 2010. Our research, including partnerships with leading health agencies and research organizations, has focused on a new class of medicines and vaccines based on messenger RNA or mRNA. As you know from basic biology, mRNA is used by every cell in the body to make the proteins that drive many aspects of human health and disease. A vaccine based on mRNA does not include any virus, but instead a sequence of nucleoside-modified mRNA encoding viral antigens. This technology helps the body itself produce the viral antigen against which the body mounts an immune response. The mRNA is non-replicating and is only present in the cell transiently. It does not enter the cell nucleus or interact with DNA. Moderna has developed lipid particles as vehicles to deliver the mRNA into cells. This lipid technology means that the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine does not require adjuvants or preservatives and can be stored under refrigerated conditions for up to 30 days once it is thawed. Please check the fact sheet for vaccination providers for details on storage and handling of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. All of this research into Moderna's mRNA platform allows for an approach that can be adapted to target specific viruses, including SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, by placing the mRNA code for the viral target within the platform. Please note the following important safety information for the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Authorized use. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine has not been approved by the FDA, but has been authorized for emergency use by FDA under an emergency use authorization, EUA, to provide a two-dose primary series 0.5 milliliters to individuals 18 years of age and older. Additionally, the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine has been authorized to provide a third primary series dose, 0.5 milliliters, to individuals ages 18 years of age and older who have been determined to have certain kinds of immunocompromise. The EUA also authorizes a single 0.25 milliliters booster dose of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine at least five months after completing a primary series of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine or SpikeVax COVID-19 vaccine mRNA to individuals 18 years of age and older. Under the EUA, the booster dose may also be administered to individuals 18 years of age or older as a heterologous booster dose following completion of primary vaccination with another authorized or approved COVID-19 vaccine. The EUA for the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is in effect for the duration of the COVID-19 EUA declaration justifying emergency use of the vaccine unless the declaration is terminated or authorization revoked sooner.
FDA has approved SpikeVax as a two-dose primary series for the prevention of COVID-19 in individuals ages 18 years of age and older. FDA approved SpikeVax and the EUA authorized Moderna COVID-19 vaccine have the same formulation and can be used interchangeably without presenting any safety or effectiveness concerns. Important safety information. Contraindications. Do not administer the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine to individuals with a known history of a severe allergic reaction, e.g. anaphylaxis, to any component of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Warnings and precautions. Management of acute allergic reactions. Appropriate medical treatment to manage immediate allergic reactions must be immediately available in the event an acute anaphylactic reaction occurs following administration of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Monitor Moderna COVID-19 vaccine recipients for the occurrence of immediate adverse reactions according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Guidelines. HTTPS colon slash slash www.cdc.gov slash vaccines slash COVID-19 slash clinical dash considerations slash managing dash anaphylaxis dot html. Myocarditis and pericarditis. Post-marketing data demonstrate increased risks of myocarditis and pericarditis, particularly within seven days following the second dose. The observed risk is higher among males under 40 years of age than among females and older males. The observed risk is highest in males 18 through 24 years of age. The CDC has published considerations related to myocarditis and pericarditis after vaccination, including for vaccination of individuals with a history of myocarditis or pericarditis. https colon slash slash www.cdc.gov slash vaccines slash covid 19 slash clinical dash considerations slash myocarditis dot html. Syncope, fainting may occur in association with administration of injectable vaccines. Procedures should be in place to avoid injury from fainting. Altered immunocompetence. Immunocompromised persons, including individuals receiving immunosuppressive therapy, may have a diminished response to the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Limitations of vaccine effectiveness. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine may not protect all vaccine recipients. Adverse reactions. Adverse reactions reported in clinical trials following administration of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine include pain at the injection site, fatigue, headache, myalgia, arthralgia, chills, nausea, vomiting, axillary swelling, tenderness, fever, swelling at the injection site, erythema at the injection site, and rash. Anaphylaxis and other severe allergic reactions, myocarditis, pericarditis, and syncope have been reported following administration of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine during mass vaccination outside of clinical trials. Additional adverse reactions, some of which may be serious, may become apparent with more widespread use of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Reporting adverse events and vaccine administration errors. The vaccination provider is responsible for mandatory reporting of the following to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, VAERS. Vaccine administration errors, whether or not associated with an adverse event. Serious adverse events, irrespective of attribution to vaccination. Cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome, MIS, in adults. Cases of COVID-19 that result in hospitalization or death. Complete and submit reports to VAERS online at https colon slash slash vares.hhs.gov slash report event dot html. For further assistance with reporting to VAERS, call 1-800-822-7967. Reports should include the words Moderna COVID-19 vaccine EUA in the description section of the report. Report to Moderna TX Inc. by calling 1-866-MODERNA, 1-866-663-663. 3762, or provide a copy of the VAERS form by faxing 1-866-599-1342 or emailing modernapv at modernatx.com. For more information, see the fact sheet for vaccination providers and full EUA prescribing information at https colon slash slash www.modernatx.com slash COVID-19 vaccine dash EUA 
slash EUA-FACT-SHEET-PROVIDERS.PDF. For information regarding SpikeVax, see SpikeVax full prescribing information at https colon slash slash www.modernatx.com slash COVID-19 vaccine dash EUA slash SpikeVax dash prescribing dash information dot PDF. Visit ModernaTX.com to learn more about mRNA technology.